But if we're doing this old school, then we're doing it properly, full on ancient Greek. So I thought we could do a bit of traditional <laughs> navigation. I brought my very own astrolabe, Nikos. Ah, I never, fantastic. never travel without it. Great. I mean, that's absolutely not true. <laughs> so you're going to tell us where we are? I'm going to try. <laughs> Let's see how we get on with the ancient equivalent of GPS. First developed by Greek astronomers around 150 BCE, the astrolabe helped sailors push beyond familiar coastlines, venturing across open sea to places like Egypt and as far west as Spain all by navigating with nothing but the sun and the stars. It's based on the idea that if you were down at the equator, at midday, the sun would be directly overhead. But if you were at one of the poles, the sun would be very low in the sky. So if you can work out the angle that the sun is at midday, you can find out how far north or south you are. A century after Eratosthenes measured the Earth with shadows and geometry, the Greeks turned that logic into tools to expand their horizons. So the way that this works, right, it's very clever, it's trying to work out the angle from uh, the vertical. Then you want to work out where the sun is in the sky by twizzling this bit and pointing the needle upwards. Now, when you are in exactly the right point, there's a little hole in the top here that you line up with the second hole below. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. Right, I'm getting about 46, I think. Once you've got the sun's angle above the horizon, you just need to tweak it slightly for the time of year. Do the math and voila, you've got your latitude. Which gets me to, I'm gonna say 38. Let's verify, it's almost 38, 37.7. I mean, the point three is quite a big difference, though, in terms of the actual circumference of the Earth. Um, but, I mean, that's pretty good. Yeah. What do you do when it's cloudy? You cannot. <laughs> it's as simple as that. 